এত কিছুর করার পরে কার ভাইরে মারছে কোন এসপি না ডিসি রাত তিনটার সময় ফোন করে এই এসপি ডিসির এগেনস্টে অ্যাকশন নিতে হবে কারে পুলিশ ধরে নিয়ে যাচ্ছে এক প্লেয়াররে মেরে ফেলবে বলে আমার ওইগুলো করে থামাইতে হবে বিদেশ থেকে করে ফোন করছি আর একজনের থালা তো মামার জমি দখল করে নিয়ে গেছে উত্তরে আমি গিয়ে উদ্ধার করি মানে কি Nazmul Hassan Papon is an influential member of parliament and a relative to Sheikh Hasina, the illegitimate prime minister of Bangladesh. He got carried away by a strike of cricketers and unintendedly admitted Bangladesh's ongoing human rights abuse publicly in October 2019. Bangladesh has seen an unprecedented level of human rights abuse since 2009. Thousands have died protesting the misrule of the government and demanding democratic rights on the streets. Many were secretly killed in staged crossfires and at least 700 people have disappeared under mysterious circumstances by the law enforcement agencies of Bangladesh. In June 2019, my father Ismail Hussain was picked by rob from his shop in the Mirpur area of Dhaka. It has been 3 years. We have no news of our father. Authorities are not paying any attention to our request. All I want is my father back. An elite unit of Bangladesh's police have been sanctioned by the US State Department in December 2021 for wholesale human rights abuse. The police chief of Bangladesh and several military officials are among the blacklisted individuals. Their role in human rights abuse is well documented. The level of human rights abuse Bangladesh is experiencing is usually seen in countries prone to insurgencies. Although security forces in Bangladesh have long committed grave human rights violations under previous governments, enforced disappearances in particular have become the hallmark of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's rule since 2009. Then why is the Bangladesh government allowing this to happen? The answer to this question lies in Bangladesh's political events and the two elections we had in 2014 and 2018. Political parties in Bangladesh agreed upon a caretaker government system to oversee the elections in 1996 to ensure better democracy. Under the system, two elections were held in 1996 and 2001 that were accepted by the international community. In 2008, Awami League made a deal with the military-backed caretaker regime and Hasina came to power thanks to the deal. বার ভোর রাতে সাংবাদিকদের বলেছেন, Awami League ক্ষমতায় গেলে তত্ত্বাবধায়ক সরকারের সমস্ত কর্মকাণ্ডের বৈধতা দেওয়া হবে। After coming to power, she abolished the caretaker government system and declared to hold all future elections under the incumbent government. Since then, Awami League has rigged all of the elections. In 2013, when the people of Bangladesh protested demanding electoral rights, Awami League politicized the whole police force of Bangladesh and cracked down on the protesters. They allowed the police to be trigger happy to cling to the power for an indefinite period. আর আমার পাওয়ার চাই আমি দেশ উন্নতি করতে চাই সব কথা আমার পাওয়ার চাই আমি কাল ইলেকশন জামানত নাও না অ্যাবসলিউট পাওয়ার নিয়ে আমি দেশ উন্নতি করব এটাই আমার লক্ষ্য Statistics shared by independent human rights defenders show how extrajudicial deaths increased almost 3 times before the last two elections. In two election years, Bangladesh's security force killed 795 people. Human rights activist Brad Adams believes Sheikh Hasina personally supervises the human rights abuse in Bangladesh. There's nobody we talk to that doesn't know that Hasina um is overseeing this consciously. That it's not happening behind your back. However, the recent US sanction has reduced the rate of political murders in Bangladesh. 
but police are still killing people whenever they feel like it. In July 2022, they killed a toddler of just seven months in an indiscriminate firing on a crowd. Later that month, they killed two opposition activists for protesting the price hike. More sanctions targeting police officials might help Bangladesh to regain its democracy. The international community must act for that before the country is lost. The